Hey planners, it's Tay of Shantae Plans and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be planning from May 18th to the 24th and using the home kit from Harriet Wright Designs. This plan with me is also a collab with Lauren of Plan Milch Plan and I will make sure to have her video linked in the description box below so that you guys can check out her video after you finish watching this one. Her spread I'm sure is going to be super gorgeous and I cannot wait to check out her video as well. So this is the kit that we're using. This is the home kit and we decided to do a quarantine themed um, plan, collab plan with me uh, because right now we're both working from home and we thought it would be fun just to kind of go over like a little bit of a Q&A of different things that we're going through while working from home. And so we picked a home themed kit and this one is actually just called home. So these are the fashion girls that come with the kit. These are the full boxes. It's on premium matte paper and it is foiled with gold foil. So beautifully. On this page we have date covers, um, check bow checklists, headers, page flags, layering icons, kiss cut icons. On this page we have the bottom washi which is beautifully foiled, the weekend banner, a full box checklist, some um, script arrows and layering bows, headers, little things, the habit trackers as well as bill do stickers. On this page we've got tons of half boxes, quarter boxes, and some um, half box checklists. This page has all of the uh, full box checklists and I think these are so adorable. I don't really tend to use these in my spreads much but I want to try to figure out a way to use one of these this week because they're so pretty. We'll see what happens. So um, if you're new coming over to my channel from Lauren's channel, hi, welcome. I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, let's go ahead and get started on this spread. Okay, so I think this is my first time doing a Q&A style video, so I'm really excited to get into these questions. The first one is, what have you been using more um, while being at home, FaceTime or Zoom? And for me, it has been FaceTime for sure. Uh, my parents earlier this year actually retired to the South. They live in the country now. Um, I'm in Southern California and they used to be in California as well. And so usually probably about like once a week um, since I've been working at home, I FaceTime them, just check on them, see how they're doing and say hi and catch up and just to talk to them um, because now we're like a long distance away from each other, uh, which is a first for my life. So it has been the... Um, video usage that I've been using the most and I don't have to FaceTime or Zoom for work so I haven't needed to utilize either one of those for work. We do Google Hangouts for my job um, and like we'll have meetings with my team probably like um, once every two weeks, once every three weeks so far it's been since we've been working from home. So it hasn't been something that we've been doing super consistently at work either. Um, we use like the hangout chat feature with like my team at work like every day. So that we've been doing actually quite a bit of, but in, in terms of like FaceTime or Zoom, I've only Zoomed once since I've been home, um, but FaceTime I've been using weekly. The next question is the best thing you've cooked since being at home. For me, okay, see, I'm not I'm not someone who enjoys cooking ever. I cook because it's a necessity and because food is, you need food to eat and to live. Um, but enjoying cooking is something that just is never words you'll ever hear me say. Um, however, I had this really good like shrimp rice bowl from um Rubio's like back in February before we went into quarantine and I was at home one day and I was thinking about it and I was like that would be so good right now and I was just like looking through my fridge and I had a lot of the stuff that I wanted to kind of put together this bowl and so I had like some um like a rice and quinoa blend um I added some bell peppers and corn and like seasoned the shrimp with like uh taco seasoning so it had more of like a sort of Mexican food type flavor to it um and um, I had like black beans. I think the only thing I didn't have that I really wanted to add to it was like some sour cream or crema, uh, but it came out really good. And it made me think about that like shrimp bowl that I had gotten from Rubio's and it was so yummy. Um, the next question is the most annoying thing about working from home. Oh man, <laughs> I can't stand this. It's 
so funny. And it's it's really funny because um, Lauren and I are both doing this collab in this video and, and talking about working from home. And we are having very different experiences with this whole working from home thing. One of us enjoy is enjoying it and the other one is me. I can't stand it. I'm one of those people who really prefers the separation of like home and office. And I really wish I was at work right now. And so the fact that I'm having to work from home is really, I'm, I'm so over it. I, I'm so ready for this to just be done and to be able to get back to where I'm getting up and going to work. Um, and so I, I guess that's probably the most annoying thing, not really having that separation between like, this is my work life, this is my home life. And um, I'm also tired of all of this like extra like laptops and desktop and and because um, I had to get a laptop from work to bring home and have an extra monitor and this is all on my my craft desk at home which is where I do my planning and so I'm I'm very grateful and I feel very very fortunate and blessed to have like a, a designated space where I can set up and I can work and it's convenient and that's great uh so I don't want to seem like I'm ungrateful for that because I really am it is nice to have a, a dedicated space where I can sit down and comfortably work even though I'm at home um but I'm tired of this crap being in my planning space and I just want it to go away because it's it's ugh, I'm I'm not feeling it it's just it's annoying me so yeah <laughs> that's what's annoying me about working from home the next question is something you thought you'd make time for but didn't. Oh man. Um hmm. The very first thought I had when I found out I was going to start working from home was, okay, the amount of time I would normally spend driving to and from work uh, is going to save me so much time. I'm going to be able to fit in two workouts a day cuz I can get up in the morning and instead of like um, like my morning commute, I'll take that time and and spend it doing a workout. That was the thought I had. The reality is that did not happen, not even once. Not even once. It has not happened at all. And I gotta say, I'm not sad about it. Not even a little bit. So, yeah, oh well. The next question is favorite shows I've binged since being at home. Uh, the show I've been watching probably the most is called Flip or Flop. And it's one of those HGTV type shows uh, where they... Um, buy a house totally renovate it and then sell it and I think it's funny because sometimes the things that I watch are very indicative of like the phase of life that I'm in and things that are just on my mind and I I definitely know that like at this point in my life like I, I dream about it, wanting to like buy a home and and having an owning home and um and so I think that's why that show just keeps being something that I really enjoy watching and I really enjoy seeing them just create these gorgeous homes that people get to live in and they're so modern and the designs are just amazing and I just I really love it um probably other than that I think the thing I've probably been watching the most isn't even really like traditional TV I've been watching a ton of YouTube um getting into planning again like really kind of um kicked off for me during this quarantine thing it was like the most awkward timing um uh, but I was planning on coming back to planning because I, I had stopped planning for a long time at the end of last year and then at the beginning of this year and so it just kind of happened where the timing of it was um when we started quarantine that I kind of really got back into the planner community and so I've been watching plan with me videos like crazy um catching up on a lot of stuff that i missed from last fall and then just enjoying things that are new videos that people are putting out because i just i really enjoy planners and stickers and watching people create amazing spreads so it's something i really enjoy watching the next question is what is it like being at home with your husband all day um <laughs> Thank God we get along. Uh, that's probably that's like the first thought that goes in my head when I read that question. Oh my God, can you imagine? Because you, I mean, you're legit just like stuck in the house with this other person all day. Um, and, and I'm I'm super grateful for the fact that my husband and I get along really well. Um, and also, um, you know, I, I feel really blessed and fortunate because we have, uh, we live in a big enough house where we can separate from each other um and so like I was just saying I, I am looking forward to buying a house right now we live in a house but we're renting it's it, we don't own it um but we do live in a house right now and um so it's it's two-story and during and my office is upstairs and he's working downstairs 
Um, and so during the day, actually, most of the time, we're not really seeing each other because we're both, you know, working um, and and we're working in two separate areas. And so um, which I think is good because at a certain point, it just becomes way too much too much togetherness. There is such a thing. Um, which is, it's funny because I'm, I guarantee you like at the beginning of our relationship, we've been married a long time, by the way. Um, I've been married for 12 years, so it's not like all new and fancy and shiny. (laughs) It's not a new toy. Um, not that there's anything wrong. Oh my God. Sorry. I'm sounding like, I'm like just so over my marriage. I'm totally not. I love my husband. He's the best. Um, but you, you get to a point where you're just like, yeah, I love you, but I don't want to be with you all day long, all night long, every single day. You don't want to be with anybody like that much. There's there's a reason we get up and go out of the house and do other things so that you can miss that person and then come back and get together and enjoy each other's company and have things to say to each other where it's like, I can tell you what happened to me and you're not like, yeah, I know I was there. (laughs) So yeah, that's what it's been like being at home with my husband all day. God, that was rambly. Um, but yeah, it's been good. It's been wonderful. He's amazing. Um, next question. What is my preferred retail therapy since working from home buying makeup, clothes, or planner stickers? Um, easily the thing I've bought the most of has been planner stickers. Um, I gotta say buying clothes though. Um, and I'll say it like this because when I started shopping for clothes, one, it was starting to warm up. Um, and I was like, you should probably get some some more summer typed clothes. Uh, and then also for me, I like lost quite a bit of weight recently. And so none of the clothes that I own from last summer fit me at all because uh, my size changed kind of dramatically. So um, buying clothes felt great and fun because I needed new clothes. And then also because um, it was... Um, in my head, optimistic shopping because I'm of the mindset that perhaps if I buy the clothes, I might get to wear them out of the house someday. We'll see what happens. <laughs> the next question is, um, one thing you want to do when quarantine is over? Oh man, I don't know. Something simple probably just like go to a movie, go to the beach, oh, go to the beach for sure. Just like be able to um, relax and go to the, no, go on vacation. Can't change my answer. I would like to go on vacation. That is like number one priority because my vacation was literally, I was supposed to go on vacation uh, at the um, the first week of April. And so it was like, we were one week into quarantine and it was, it was like, okay, that's a wrap. They, they shut, <laughs> they shut everything down. There is no going on vacation. Um, so yeah, that's what I want to do. One thing that I will miss about working from home. Um, I've had some mornings since working at home where Um, I either didn't sleep well the night before or have been like super tired, which happens whether I'm working from home or not. Um, And so it is really nice to be able to sleep in that extra amount of time in the morning and still get up, get myself ready and sit down and be at work completely on time because I'm going from my bedroom to my office. So it's the shortest commute in the world. And the last question is, guess when the stay-at-home order will end? Uh, My guess, and I guess my hope, is that uh, this ends by the end of July. That's what I'm thinking right now. Uh, Honestly, I feel like there's the... Like they've already started like phase one of opening up some places in in certain states, um, which hasn't... I don't... I I feel like actually maybe they have opened up some things in California, um, but... Uh, they're still doing everything kind of tentatively and just sort of testing it out and seeing how things work, which I think to me, it still seems a little bit early and a little bit risky. And I, and I wish there were a lot better things in place for for this whole reopening thing. Um, but I, I honestly hope that maybe they do figure some things out and, and maybe work it out to the point where we can get back to leaving our homes safely and can uh, lift the stay at home order. We've at least, you know, flattened the curve or gotten over the worst of this by the end of July. That That is my, my hope. So that's what I think. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to go check out Lauren's plan with me. I'll have it linked in the description box. If you have any questions about any of the stickers that I've used, you can leave that in the comments. But also check out my Instagram because I always try to make sure I tag the shops in my pictures to make it easy for you guys to find them. I hope you guys are all staying safe and having an amazing day. Talk to you next video. Bye.